What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with more Fake Grand Order. I know we, were, I know I said we were going to be doing a couple more interludes, but I've decided, eh, fuck that. We're going to do the Zero Event. So, Zero Event away! Anyways. Ongoing, limited time, special event, Fate Axo Zero Uta. Japan, Fuyuki, a new singularity has appeared on the site of Singularity F. But at coordinates 10 years prior, this timeline sees a Fuyuki embroiled in the Fourth Holy Grail War. Your guide for the ray shift will be Lord Elmeloy II. What has happened to the Fourth Holy Grail War? A battle to discover the truth is about to begin! Event summary, Fate Zero X, Fate Grand Order, blah 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 blah. Yeah, 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 only masters have completed Singularity F, you get the idea. Do stuff, clear missions. It's basically like the Garden of Sinners. You clear missions, you get stuff. Now, one thing they're bringing in are a collection item that are called class seals, but they look like coins to me, so I'm going to be referring to them as coins. Don't get confused. Basically, by bringing certain characters who interacted with uh, Fate Zero story in one form or another, you gain bonuses. So, by this account... Artoria and Gillis Saber receive bonuses for Lancer coins. Both Gilgameshes give Saber coins. Diramud the Lone Lancer gives Archer uh, coins. Alexander and Gotcha Bait Iskandar give casters. Elmeloy the Second and Bluebeard give Assassin coins. Cursed Arm and new additions to the group. Emiya Assassin, who is a version of Kiditsugu. I say a version because. His bonds basically infer he is not Kiritsugu of the Zero Universe because he never worked with the Einsburns, and because of that, he became a soulless killing machine. Although that makes later stuff confusing. Uh, Hundred Faced Hassan, the assassin of Zero, and they're all no personality. And Lancelot, the soul berserker. Uh, there are two additional things to this that I will mention. The welfare servant for this is the Dress of Heaven. Basically, Iris feel, kind of. It is, but it isn't. Just roll with it. Fate, at this point, you shouldn't be questioning things. And also, Angria Manu. We'll get to in a second. Basically, so these guys will drop plus three of these specific coins. You can use, uh, you can also use event CEs to include class pickups and also this. CE specifically increases for all classes, blah, 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 you get the idea. So, what they don't tell you, what they don't tell you is several things. One, the class CE. Now, yes, you can equip it to a class to uh, get a certain uh, drop of coins, but what happens if you equipped it to a ruler, avenger, or shielder? Now, equipped to a ruler... They increase the drop of knight classes, so Saber, Archer, Lancer. Equipped to an Avenger that is not Angria Manu, increases uh, Rider, Caster, Assassin, Berserker. Equipped to Shielder, Mash, it increases the drop of all classes. So, if you don't have Angria Manu, slot a Mash, for the love of God. Like, there is no reason to not have M.A.S.H. because of that. If you did not pull Angry Among You, please, for the love of God, do that. Now, Angry Among You, for those who are unaware, and I will be very brief on this because talking about this motherfucker is spoilers incarnate. Now, as I've mentioned before, a lot of people were super pissed that they changed his name. As I've mentioned, they haven't really changed his name. This is just another way his name can be written in whatever language he his character comes from but here's the thing um it's kind of super weird that they'd write it like that because as fate lore makes very plainly to tell thanks to heavensville and hollow atraxia angria manu as in this version all the world's hate is not the same as angra manu the zanestrian whatever the fuck that word is zoranestrian god of chaos or something so things to keep in mind yeah so, now that I've established that out of the way real quick, we can begin the event. Oh, God. I feel like I have to, like, prep a speech class every time to do shit. Alright, so let's begin.
I'm sorry to ask you to come this early in the morning, Vane. It hasn't been long since what happened to Da Vinci, but we detected another singularity. I'm glad to see there's some canonicity amongst the events. A shame we don't have that canonicity for the actual singularities. Hoo -hoo! I'm sorry for being late, Doctor. I've been having trouble waking up for the past few days. Oh. Oh, you're here already, Senpai. As the master of REM sleep, I can see you are ready any time. It's a special skill I have. I know. I noticed when I first met you. That's creepy. <laughs> I still remember how cheerful you were when you woke up that day. That memory is one of my best to date. Mash, I'm glad to see that you're doing great too. Well, uh, can I start briefing now? Um... Sh sure sorry doctor you were talking about a new singularity right but doctor aren't those coordinates the same as singularity f it does appear that way on kiata's map but the temporal axis is different this singularity corresponds to the point 10 years earlier in the same in time than the singularity f you guys investigated before i can i can't conclude that this is a holy grail for certain but an extremely similar response has been observed Earlier, huh? But is it really possible that a Holy Grail would manifest at the same point so frequently? Actually, even I can't explain that, so I thought I would bring someone who seemed capable of doing it. I see. That's why you called me here. Song Liang? No, Ameloy II. Indeed. I'm familiar with Fuyuki City in Japan, or so I'd like to say. But unfortunately, my knowledge is estranged from the history recorded by Laplace here in Chikialda. That's expected, now that human history has been incinerated. Many different possibilities got mixed in with Chialda's ob observation results. Perhaps Chialda's didn't exist in the history where Mr. Elmele II came from. Your world and our world, I'm not sure which one the proper history is the proper history. However... It is obvious that both worlds are centered and extremely close to each other. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been summoned. You're talking about the cluster of parallel worlds in the primary branch. In other words, phenomenon permissible for revision that share the same future, despite minor differences. That sounds like an entire just explanation for why Fate Zero is not a true prequel to Fate Stay Night. Which, yes, anyone that counters it... Nasu has gone on record saying he does not consider Fate Zero a true prequel to Fate Stay Night. It's another one of the multiverse bullshit. It happened, but it's not the same universe. And Phenomenon designated for removal the cluster of parallel worlds that would eventually lead to ruin like fallen leaves. Oh good, now we're getting into Extella bullshit. Lovely. Unfortunately, that kind of topic is out of my purview. It's a part of the world that unless you're one with a heroic spirit like me, is hard to understand. I'm still wondering how you are one with a heroic spirit. Besides, it's not something Vane must hear either. So I'm going to tell you only what I know. This is all just based on the events that occurred in my world, mind you. So, your records indicate that the First Holy Grail War took place in Fuyuki City of 20... 2004. However, as far as I know, the Holy Grail War has occurred five times in Fuyuki City. Five times? That many? Who? I see. So depending on the situation, the Holy Grail War already happened five times already. Wait, five times already? A ritual of that scale was performed five times? Hi, I'm glad we're getting up to speed with knowledge that everyone already fucking knows. How did they hide it from everybody? Don't tell me the Holy Grail War is a competitive sport in your world. And people treat it like the Olympic Games. A rather amusing idea, but that's not it, Doctor. In our case, the Mages Association and the Holy Church colluded to cover everything up. Uh, of course they did. Phew, that scared me. Please continue, Professor. 
The temporal axis observed this time was not the 2004 where Singularity F was located, but 10 years earlier, the Fourth Holy Grail War. When it comes to my world, it's not a surprise that you could detect a Holy Grail in the past at those coordinates. The possibility that a Holy Grail could exist at that era in the past, indeed, that would be able to give birth to a new Singularity. Could this be a misjudgment on Sheba's part? I mean, to observe the light of civilization in the past. I personally hope that's the case. Now that human history has been incinerated, it's impossible to observe light on a normal temporal axis. If a light is lit on Kialdas in its current state, that can only be a singularity that's removed from the temporal axis. Am I right, Doctor? This is probably a stain that has already been disconnected from human history, and will eventually contaminate it. Exactly, Professor. No matter what this singularity actually is, we must retrieve the Holy Grail that exists there. I suppose so. Retrieving or destroying it is the mission given to Vain Izanagi. However, there is a problem. The main reason why the Holy Grail War was repeated five times in Fuyuki was because the Holy Grail never manifested itself, not even once. Also, due to a certain accident, this ritual has been mutated to a state you can barely call it RITUAL anymore. In conclusion, you mustn't retrieve this Holy Grail. It is a Holy Grail that must not manifest. It's just a poison. While it tempted the participants as a wish-granting device, in truth it was merely a device of mass destruction created for the purpose to eliminate to eliminating the world. Hi, good grammar. You really are knowledgeable. That's basic common knowledge for anyone who played all three routes of Fate Stay Night. Of course, I did my research. Besides, it's my responsibility as a participant. No. I just want to reassure myself. I put in a considerate amount of effort to dismantle Fuyuki's Holy Grail. When it comes to the circumstances surrounding this land, I've left no stone unturned. How dependable. From the way you sounded, I guess I don't have to ask you to help us, right? Doctor, you sure are a bad guy. You called me here because you wanted me to help, no? I will join this investigation. I believe I am the best observer, don't you think so? Yup, and I already have you on the team. Yes, it'll be very assuring to have all the information about our destination. Then it's settled. Get ready for ray shift now. The target coordinates are Fuyuki City, Japan, 1994. Looks like it's going to be different this time around too, so watch out. Foo-foo! <laughs> Axel Zero Order! Welcome to where time stands still, no one leaves and no one will. Moon is full, never seems to change, just labeled mentally deranged. Anyway. Resident you, the man who knows Fuyuki. Alright. <coughs> Well then, I suppose it's time to set up my team. If we're fighting assassins, who drops assassin pieces again? Um... Actually, question. First of all... Moshu! Enjoy! Innocent Maiden! I get increased seal drops for equipped class by two. Now, assassin classes were dropped by... By the way, here's our selection. Alright, so who beats... What beats assassin? Caster. Then my two casters will be needed for this. In this case being... Gillis and... Oh boy. Actually, you know what? Gillis can join the party. I'll stick Lancelot in the back. There we go. 
give them the craft essences I already possess from rolling the beginning. And all right, let's do this. Actually, mm, yeah. All right, so. Let's bring Gillis, and let's bring... Kid Gil? Sure, why not? I'm not gonna impose this. I'm not gonna impose myself to only use the Zero Servants, but that would be a fun challenge. I am, however, gonna at least try to use them when I can, though. <laughs> Total Assassin bonus. There we go, six Berserker. But yeah, as you can see, having it on Mash, I've gotten plus two for everything. Plus additional bonuses from the other. Having just the required, uh... Seba. Having just the, uh, required characters on your team automatically has them drop plus three. So having El Meloy, three El Meloys, in fact, on my team already guarantees me six. Plus Gillis, that's nine. Plus the additional, what is it? One, I get from that, so that's ten... Anyways. So, yeah. Alright, so. 6, 9. 9. 10. Anyways, yeah, you get the idea. Oh, so, yeah. Just having them on my team is good enough. Alright, so. That's said and done. Let's begin. Axel Zero, the man who knows Fuyuki. It's me. <laughs> so this is Fuyuki before it was in flames. Foo foo. Looks peaceful. Yes, seeing how vibrant this city is, somehow I feel very relieved. But to think in ten years, catastrophe would visit. A quiet town like this technically it visits at the end of this war. You shouldn't be too sentimental. We exist in a world where everything's been incinerated, not just this town. Y you are right, but... My apologies. I could have worded it better. Yes. Normal life is hard to come by, but don't get obsessed over it. Fearing the inevitable tragedy like the catastrophe of war would only slow you down. Because we fight as we are confronted with the destruction of mankind's past and future. What I meant was, we should keep that in mind and prepare ourselves for any situation. Take this instance, for example. You probably think there won't be any threat in a peaceful residential district at, ta at a time where everybody is asleep, correct? That's right. To be honest, I find it hard to believe this place was the site for a Holy Grail war. That perception is too naive. In a fight between mages, first you must question everything you see. For example... Kimundun Jia, Eight Gates, Golden Locks Formation! Yeah. Bufu! Assassin Servant! Was that presence concealment? But even so, that was way too concealed. Hi, it's like the assassins are known for concealing their presence or something. D damn you. How is that possible? Are you asking how is it possible for me to see through your presence concealment? Well, I couldn't. However, I do know from my investigation that the assassin in the Fourth Holy Grail War could split into multiple entities and monitor the entirety of Fuyuki. I knew we'd get caught in your surveillance network seeing how flashy Rayshift can be. Then it's only natural for you to come scouting. Now that you're in my stone sentinel maze, there's no point in using presence concealment. Now, Venus and Augie, it's time to put up a fight. I'll explain everything later. So yes, of course, we're confronted by one of the many. Uh, well, technically one of the many. Hundred Face Tassan. I still don't know why they made the girl the main one. <laughs> She didn't do anything. And even then, technically, 
<laughs> we're just fighting a regular Hassan. All right. Charm him! Damn it. He's beyond our charm. <laughs> For some reason, I'm getting all giddy. I'm filled with good memories of tentacles and violence! I feel it in my loins. Why did we bring him again? I don't know. I must give them my tentacles! Yay! Investigate the residential area. Woot. <laughs> With that, I've collected 15 coins. With one fight. Which isn't saying much because I think I have to collect like 500 of the damn things. Enemy servant eliminated. The battle is over. It was pretty weak for a servant. That was just one of the many assassins. As you've seen, that assassin has the ability to split and manifest multiple bodies. That's why the fight is not over yet. You must prepare for the next encounter. Do you mean a single heroic spirit has the ability to manifest as a group? Not only is it a fearsome ability to use in espionage, unless one has an anti-army noble phantasm, I can't read what that said, it means that assassin can overwhelm any opponent with sheer numbers alone. I don't know. I'd like to see Hundred Face try to take Lancelot. My money's on Lancelot. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> but now that I've mastered Kui Min Doon Ja, They'll just end up as my prey. They'd have to keep the entire Fuyuki area under surveillance for the time being. That said, they can't exactly ignore us either. Assassin will most likely keep sending people to attack us. As a result, they have broken the golden rule of military strategy by continuously investigating their combat personnel without reserve. Investing, excuse me. How very sad indeed. We'll have to fight them one, one after another. They shouldn't pose too much of a threat. Just take them out the minute you lay eyes on them. Now then, there's no time to waste. Onward, I say. Onward. Well, huh, but... <laughs> What's going on right now? Apologies, but it will have to wait. I'm not trying to be pompous. It's just we're in a race against time. Oh, don't make that face. I'll explain as many things as I can on our way. Starting with the most vital matters. <sighs> Yay! I got another! I am Eloy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete quest. Get new missions. Defeat five Hassans. Is that the only one? Hmm. Oh, no. Complete mission on number 11. Completing this mission will unlock. Bleah. What is mission 11? That is mission 18. Alright. It's not what I meant. Thank you. In progress. Here we go. Uh, acquire 100 seals of assassin, 500 seals, complete 10 missions, complete all missions. Coolsies. All right. Yoroshi, sore de wa saiten da. Ho ho. All right, well, at least I'm right on my way to getting the uh, 300. His rifle place is going to be a great thing. Plus two to every class. No matter who it's equipped to. Be worth my time to try and farm that out. Especially considering I have both, uh, both casters, it should make it pretty easy to do. But what I'm here for are two main specific things. Oh, yes. Those oculent crystals, as well as those gears. Both I need for Babbage, Jalter, and Delmeloy II. So, yes. Well, with that said and done for now, though... I guess I have to go kill assassins. So until then, I'll catch you all later. 
Asta.